Utah, in the western United States, has a rich and diversified culture shaped by its history, geography, and demography. With a population of roughly 700,000 people in the 1940s, the state was mostly rural and agricultural. The economy was built on mining, agriculture, and manufacturing, with the defense industry having a considerable presence due to the creation of several military bases and weapons manufacturing facilities in the state during World War II. In 1940, Utah had more than 10 million acres of agriculture, but only 28,500 farms. The average farm size has increased to 354 acres. The 1940s brought war and restrictions of numerous items. Food rationing and increased employment drove up demand for and prices for Utah farm commodities. Almost every agricultural commodity saw a rise in demand. Yet because so many employees were at war or working in factories, production of labor-intensive products such as sugar beets and row crops fell. Farmers profited from increased mechanization during World War II, which compensated for labor shortages. During the war, women and incarcerated Japanese-American residents all contributed to increased agriculture work in Utah. After the war, Utah agriculture experienced even greater expansion as America experienced a one-of-a-kind post-war boom. Salt Lake City flourished significantly in the 1940s, and its population increased by over 7%. The final streetcar line was closed in 1941, and the trolley vehicles were withdrawn during World War II. The downtown streets were much busier than they are today, although there were far fewer automobiles. The Crystal Palace, located at South Temple and 200 East, was the first supermarket to open in downtown. The Bamberger Railroad Terminal was located where Symphony Hall is now. Many military installations were created in Salt Lake City during World War II. The economy was rejuvenated by war industry and military installations. Workers and troops spent their money at restaurants, stores, ballrooms, and theaters around the city. The Mormon religion, which was formed in 1830 and is still the dominant faith in the state today, had a strong influence on Utah society in the 1940s. The official name of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints emphasizes a strong sense of community, family values, and self-reliance, which were mirrored in the way of life of many Utah citizens in the 1940s. Many families were interested in farming or ranching and hard work and self-sufficiency were highly valued. Utah experienced considerable transformation and growth during the 1940s. The state's population expanded by more than 25% throughout the decade, due primarily to an influx of personnel from the defense industry. Furthermore, the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad in 1869 made it significantly easier for people to relocate to and settle in the state. During this time period, the rise of the automotive industry had a huge impact on Utah culture. Car ownership increased, resulting in a new degree of mobility that made it easier for individuals to travel and explore the state. Car production was also a significant business in Utah at the time, and the state was home to major automobile manufacturers and suppliers. During the 1940s, the automobile industry not only served to drive the Utah economy, but it also had a huge impact on the state's culture. People were able to travel more readily and visit other sections of the state as more individuals had cars. This increased tourism interest and several new tourist sites opened during the decade. Furthermore, the automobile business provided a new level of affluence to many Utah families, as many of the jobs produced by the industry were well-paying and provided excellent benefits. Utah is also famous for unique foods and dishes that an individual might not find elsewhere. According to local legend, Don Carlos Edwards, creator of the Utah-based fast food company Arctic Circle, invented fry sauce in the late 1940s. Originally known as pink sauce, the recipe included ketchup, mayo, garlic, and a variety of additional spices to produce an immediate popular condiment ideal for French fries. The sauce swiftly became a cultural icon, and it remains a source of great local pride to this day. Fry sauce, 
which was invented in Utah in the 1940s, is a fast food staple throughout the state. It's a simple combination of mayonnaise and ketchup, but many variations include pickle juice, spicy sauce, or other seasonings. Fry sauce, as the name suggests, is a great dip for french fries, but that's not its only use. Some restaurants may serve it as a condiment on sandwiches or with chicken nuggets or corn dogs. Utah is a beautiful state known for its natural diversity and home to features ranging from arid deserts with sand dunes to thriving pine forests in mountain valleys. What Utah has now is because of its past. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on our next video.